Yo, what up guys? First of all, sorry for the horrible lighting, but you know, it's kind of bright everywhere, so it's hard for me to find a place to record. So, you're gonna have to deal with it. I'm sorry about that. Second of all, it's time for Han 3.0... Wait a second. No, I mean 4.0. No. We have yet another couple leaks coming for you guys. This is episode 3 of Han 4.0 leak slash previews. And in this one, we'll be looking through Kronos, Malakin, Puppet Master, Tundra, Ring of Sorcery, and Congor, Ling Yai. Hmm. So that's pretty cool. So I hope you guys will once again enjoy this episode. And if you do, don't forget to subscribe downstairs and share the video. And also leave it a like. That helps me personally out a lot. So I hope to see you do that. And I will see you at the end of this video. First up is Kronos. The Staff of the Master effect was changed. Chrono Fields, in addition to its current effects, now removes the 25% damage penalty when heroes outside the Chrono Field are damaging enemies inside the Chrono Field. As for Malakin's Seal, the attack speed ability was changed. Maximum attack speed gained from the skill decreased from 120 to 80, so quite a significant nerf. Along with that, we also got a Staff of the Master effect that Malakin did not have before. Cooldown was reduced from 180-60 to 14 seconds, so quite a significant and interesting Staff of the Master effect. Puppet Master got quite a few amount of buffs, so first up we got his E ability so changed. The critical multiplier was increased from 1.4, 1.6, 1.8 to 2 to a maximum of 2.25 times at the max level of Whiplash. So a little bit of a 0.25x increase right there. A puppet Show. The search radius was increased from 250, 300, 350, 400 to 400 at all levels. What this allows you to do is not max out Puppet Show as your first ability. I still think that's what you're going to be doing, but it still allows you to, n to have the option not to do so. It now continues until the state duration expires, even if the force attack target dies. Finally, but not least, Voodoo Puppet the Ultimate got changed, there is no longer a cast action time or a cast time, and the damage amplification was increased from 1.4, 1.6, 1 1.8 to 1.6, 1.8, 2.0, so another 0 0.2 damage amplification on Puppet's ability. One of my personal favorites is of course Tundra, a hero that we picked quite a bit in Sync Esports. The base strength was increased from 23 to 25, the base damage was increased from 5660 to 5767, so quite a significant increase here, but RNG based nonetheless. As well as that, the Piercing Shard's Q ability projectile lifetime was decreased from 1000 milliseconds to 850 milliseconds. Basically, the shard projectiles will travel faster than before. Along with that, the superior mix damage was increased from 190 to 63, 3400 to 190 to 65, 3, 34, 15. So a very, very small number buff, but a difference nonetheless. Finally, with Tundra, we got Cold Shoulder, his E ability. Now applies a tapering 60% movement speed slow for 2 seconds, which is quite an interesting concept, and we'll see how that works out. Next up, we got Ring of Sorcery. The mana cost was reduced from 40 to 0, so it no longer costs any mana to make, which makes it personally better for yourself and your own hero. Our final change in this leak slash preview video is Congor. Congor no longer has the passive stun ability. Nullstone effect is now also visible on Conger.
He has a new ability called Boulder Toss. It has a 5 second cooldown, a mana cost of 100, and it throws a rock at target location, 200 radius, shows a red circle on the ground, and lands after 2 seconds. It deals 150 plus 10% of target's max health in magic damage and stuns for 2 seconds. Conger will randomly use this ability as long as he is fighting at least one enemy hero, which means he has a 20% chance every second to cast it. Something to note is that he will still have the AoE ability if there's three or more heroes, so that ability has not been removed from Congor. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, as always, we listen to your feedback and try to improve this video from the previous one. So I hope you guys enjoyed the new effect slash video that we made. Either way, if you would like to watch the previous episode of Hom 4.0 leak slash previews, you can do so right here. And if you would like to watch the next episode when it goes live, you can do so right here. Also, don't forget to subscribe, which you can do right here in the middle. And thank you once again very much for watching. See you all in the next episode, and I hope you enjoyed it.